Hello everyone, my name is Ms. Krista. I'm a librarian at the Sterling Heights Public Library in Sterling Heights, Michigan. Thank you for joining me today for another virtual kids craft. Today we're out in the beautiful weather and we're going to make um, sidewalk paint that is very similar to sidewalk chalk. So it's only going to take three ingredients that you probably have already around your house. Um, you're going to need cornstarch, either washable kids paint or food coloring, and water. In addition, you'll want um, a cupcake tin or other containers for your paint and paint brushes. You can also just use your fingers if you don't want to use paint brushes. And this is going to make a chalky um, paint for your uh, sidewalks. So um, let's get started. Okay, so getting started, you're going to need regular cornstarch, children's washable paint or food coloring in every color you'd like your chalk paint to be, and water. We're going to start by adding a tablespoon of cornstarch for every color of paint that we'd like to make. I have paint in yellow, green, blue, red, and black. And I'm also going to mix red and yellow together to make orange, blue and red together to make purple, and green and blue together to make a teal. So that's eight colors. I am putting a tablespoon of cornstarch for every color I'd like to make. Setting that aside, I am now going to add a tablespoon of color in with my tablespoon of cornstarch right into my cupcake tin. So starting with yellow, I am going to add one tablespoon of yellow. Now, the amount of paint is adjustable based on how vibrant you like your colors. Now for my orange, I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon of yellow, perhaps a little more because the red is vibrant and I want my orange to be a true orange instead of more red. And so now I'm going to pause this and come back when I've added all my color. Welcome back. As you can see, I now have my paint added to my cornstarch and my muffin tin. Um, approximately one tablespoon of paint per one tablespoon of cornstarch. For the mixed colors, I have added approximately a half tablespoon of each color so I can get my purple, teal, and orange. So a lot of recipes on the internet are going to recommend a one-to-one -one ratio cornstarch to water, but through uh, trial and error, I and my kids have a preference of a little bit thinner paint. So here I'm adding two tablespoons of water per tablespoon of cornstarch. So a two to one ratio. If you do end up liking a thicker paint, feel free to use less water or more cornstarch. If you have any concerns about whether um, this will stain your sidewalk or not, feel free to use less paint or a smaller amount of food coloring. Doing this outside so messes don't matter. And now that I've added my two tablespoons of water, I shall mix them up. I'm just going to grab a paintbrush. You can use a craft stick, a spoon. Here I'm using a paintbrush. And I'm just going to mix the water, paint, and cornstarch together. As you use these paints outside, you may notice that some of the cornstarch may settle in the bottom of the tin. You'll just have to um, Remix them. And here is my black or gray. It's coming together. Now I'll do the green. The 
The cornstarch is a little thick in the water, but it will soon mix fairly well and you'll get a nice smooth chalky paint. And now I am going to pause and mix the rest of these and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, welcome back. You can see I finished mixing my paints. My paints are quite thin. Remember, if you'd like a thicker, chalkier consistency, feel free to add more cornstarch. I love these vibrant colors. They're beautiful. They will take a bit to wash off your sidewalk, but it isn't too difficult. And now I'll show you my kids in action with these sidewalk paints. 